Hey there, everybody. And welcome to the new Need for Speed game. Um, excuse my voice today. I'm a bit under the weather. But, that's not going to stop me from playing it. Well, Need for Speed's finally here. A uh, series that has been run into the fucking ground at this point. Well, let's talk about it. I haven't played a Need for Speed game in quite some time. The last good Need for Speed I remember playing was Need for Speed Most Wanted. Not the remake in like 2010, but the original one. The old school like PlayStation 2 one that they ported to 360 and whatnot. But, <clears throat> uh, E3 last year, or this year, I think it was this year, they announced Need for Speed 2015. The new Need for Speed. The reboot essentially to a already series that I didn't think needed a reboot so the things I look for for need for speed game besides cars and everything is open world I want open world and lots of fun shit to do well this is not the game you are looking for then this isn't a review or anything because I'm still playing the game but this is not the sort of need for speed that I was looking forward to you know the cars are cool but there's drifting and all these other things so <clears throat> let me take you to my garage um, as you can see, this is the map. You got your people on the side. You got your crew, your speed, your style, your build, and then your outlaw. Outlaw's kind of the random. And then the daily challenges. <sighs> Excuse me. You got your money, which is the points, and you got your rep. So, I'm rep 23. Let's see how many hours I put into the game. So I can show you exactly how much shit I've done. Okay, you got your progress. I'm 32% through my journey. As you can see, speed is at 70%. Because speed's easy as fuck to do. Um, I'm level 23. Collectibles, events. I don't know anything about collectibles. They haven't told me anything in the game about it. So, that's kind of how it goes. Um, you got your daily challenges. Daily challenges are just day-to-day -day things. Of course, that's kind of how it goes. So, you got out of time. I beat that one. I don't know what the hell that one was. These are all outlaw ones. So, specifically for the day. Um, dangerous driving, seven near misses while in pursuits, I believe. So you get a 5,000 bonus, 7,500 rep, and then a plus one rank. Which I don't know what the fuck a plus one rank even does. <clears throat> I guess you could play them. I didn't notice that before. But let's jump to our garage. We could take a look at the sort of in-game mechanics of the... The customization is very deep in this game, but there's not a lot of shit to do in it. So, of course, I'm murdered out black because black on black on black on black is the only way to go. So, let's take a look. You could paint, apply paint and wraps. You got wraps. You could do, you know, your, your, your regular graphics. I have the deluxe edition of this game. So, they might not come with all these stylus packs. So, just be known of that. So, you have your customs, the deluxe ones. This is mine, of course. Murdered out blackness because it's great. So, you got your decals, your paints, your metallic smoothness, clear coat, brightness, saturation, and of course the hue. The hue is just the color, color, color pattern. I wish there was a different kind of color pattern, but you got your decals. You could do the top, the front, the sides, the bottom, the skirts, the front. You know, you could put, like, Plants vs. Zombies shit on it. But be it, and you could customize your license plate. Of course, I put Spain because that's who I am. I'm the amazing great. Um, you know, you got visual customization, so you can customize your hood. The thing is, there's not a lot here. So, you got the hood. You can do the front bumper. You could do your entire car. So, a just stance would be, like, how your fairings and how your, how your wheels and how your uh, axles want to look and everything else. So, I have a BMW. Uh, you got your splitters, you got your, uh, whatever the hell that is, you can have headlights, but there's no parts available yet, your fenders, see the fenders with this, you got side skirts, you got wheels, you could do wheels and tires, um, exhaust, spoiler, license plate, I don't know what that is either, but that's available during the Amy missions, so I have to play with Amy, rear bumpers, uh, license plate, uh, trunk lid, you got your spoiler, you got your sound system, which is kind of dumb, <clears throat> but, um, that's about it in visual customization, there's not a lot of customizing as of yet, and I have $137,000, so you could kind of see exactly, you have your handling, which, handling is just two types, there's grip, and then there's drift, 
and each of these different ones you got um front tire pressure rear tire pressure street response street range uh brake drift assist uh drift stability assist you know launch control so on and so forth everything everything you could possibly want and it's one way or the other that's all it is one way or the other if you're in the middle you're kind of fucked because most events need one or the other so you have performance so let's look at the parts there's a lot of choices to choose from but they're still a bit lackluster because everything needs levels, of course, like that unlocks level 24, which is the next level. It shows you the stats on the side about what the difference is between everything else. So I have a pretty souped up ride. I have everything as high as it could go right now that I know of. You can go through all the parts. Some parts are locked behind Amy's missions via Amy's missions. Amy's kind of the mechanic. And there's different things you need to look for in each car. Each car being... Um, when you look at the bottom, besides the stats on the side, like, ignition, Amy's missions, of course. I'm trying to figure out, to show you a good example of what the fuck I'm talking about. Wait, can I buy something? Claim. So, $14,000, and it's going to do what? Increase my horsepower by a shit ton. So, fuck it, we'll buy it. And I don't think it cost me anything because I have the Deluxe Edition. I don't know. The Deluxe Edition really doesn't understand what the fuck it wants to do with it either. I think I got this BMW for free because of the Deluxe Edition. I don't even know. Um, God damn, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so there's different types of NOS tanks. So this is time refill. That's action. So it refills during your actions. And then you can have bigger tanks and whatever. So if you're more of a get a near miss, go top speed, it'll adjust. It'll get higher and higher and higher. So, as you can see in the bottom, um, it says spring stiffness. And there's like two on each side. That is the divider between drift and grip. So the higher it goes, the more it is. So the highest one via Amy Mission, of course, is it goes either way. So it's the best for drift and the best for grip. So that's what you need to look forward to in each of these little sections. What's the best per each thing? So tires, of course, is the same way. I have grip tires for my BMW because, of course, my Beamer is grip. It does not do drift that well. So let's back out, and I'll show you the garage. So I have a Ford Mustang 1990, of course. This is my drift car. You can do the same with each one. Let's take a look at the cars. So, of course, my cars is the BMW M346 Deluxe. 2006, that is the car I believe I got with the Deluxe Edition. So, you have your cars you can buy. Each of these cars uh, gets better and better, I guess, as it goes on. You get your Ford Mustang 1965. That's probably a Shelby. Fastback. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Your Toyota. Toyota Supra. That's a cool car. Um, So on and so forth. Your Nissans. Your Ford Mustangs. Your Mazdas, your Dodge Challengers, and they get progressively more money as they go along. But, you know, there's not a lot of shit to them. And, of course, you got your, is that a Skyline? No, that's the that's a BMW. It's kind of like the Beamer I got. Um, you got your Beamers, your Hondas. That's an old school Honda, too. It's like a Back to the Future car. Porsche, Porsche 911. Awesome cars. Um, is that a Lotus? Lotus. You got your Nissan Skyline. That's a cool car. Ford Mustang. That's a 1969. Boom. BOS. Um, 2016 Beamer. It's not even out yet. It's probably out. Ford Focus. Ford Mustang GT. One of my favorite cars of all time. That was my uh, most wanted car. I always wanted that car. Just flat black everything else. Dodge Vipers. Um, the higher you get. You got Lamborghinis. You got Ferraris. Uh, McLarens. Lamborghinis, Murcielagos, Diablos. There's not a lot of very used to cars, but you have a quite small amount of space. So just save up for whatever the hell you want. So let's exit the garage now. That's pretty much the, the garage mechanics. The story is nothing to fucking talk about. There's no, it's a fucking racing game. If you're looking for story, you're in the wrong place. Um, so... It's kind of like live action cutscenes with someone with like a GoPro strapped to their forehead or some shit. But the driving as a whole is all right, it's all right at best. It's not nothing to write home about. The graphics are cool. So you got drift. I hate drift. Drift fucks up your car. It's it it's 
It, I mean, you could just tell from driving. But here's the point. You know, one of the issues I have with this, besides everything else, you know, Most Wanted, in my opinion, is the best Need for Speed game ever made. Need for Speed, Most Wanted, not the remake, but the original. And then Hot Pursuit is a close second, the remake of Hot Pursuit, because it's just fun to play with friends. Cops, you can't really just get on you. You have to kind of find them or do a mission and get them. So let's do a mission. I'm going to do speed because, of course, I'm in my BMW. The thing is, there's no pause. It's always online. People will fucking call you consistently and bug the shit out of you. That's one thing you got to remember. Uh, see, there's people in my game that are online. I don't know what the fuck you can do with them. You have races everywhere. So, like, time trials, sprint races, circuits, so on and so forth. But you don't need to do them. They unlock more and more as you go, as levels come up. So we'll do the speed level, or speed race. See, so you got your daily challenges in the bottom. But, that's about as far as you'll get. I didn't even get to check how long I've been playing this game. That's what I gotta look for. Uh, is it in start? So you can go through your messages. These are all the people that'll fucking call you. And they'll give you missions to do. But they call you constantly. So you got your rep. The green is speed. Yellow is um, drift. Red is... Uh, what is it? There's a certain term for it. Outlaw, which is breaking the law. Um, purple is like customization, visual. And then blue is teams. I believe teams. As you can see, like, speed is my highest. So, you can take a look at, you know, my journey. I'm five hours and 16 minutes into the game. And I've been sitting around for a while. So, take that with a grain of salt. I probably played three and a half, four hours at most. And, of course, it's EA. So, they're trying to slam EA access down your throat. <clears throat> so let's see how the racing goes. Okay, let's crush this damn thing. They do the bullshit catch up mechanic in all the games. So if I get super far ahead of somebody, it acts like I'm fucking standing still. And they can always fly past me. I'm not the best driver. So take everything I do with a grain of salt. <clears throat> so I mean it, the game looks good but you're also driving at high speeds so things are just flying past you you can't really focus on anything when it comes to changing the camera angles see I just crashed crashing's cool it's like every other kind of game but when it comes to changing camera angles, uh, the frame rate drops, not substantially, I'm not a frame rate person, see I just got a random car, like a random police officer on me, but I'm not into frame rates, I'm, I don't care, but it kind of freezes the game a minute, so when you, when you change it, you know, there's no cockpit view. I like the street view where I get to kind of where the headlights are, but for drifting and stuff, I want to look at it and kind of judge it upon how it's going. See, they told me it was going to be like most wanted with like underground two type of gameplay. And those are the best ones. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And I fucked up. I lost by like two seconds. <laughs> that crash kind of did me in but you still get rep for it but oh crew is blue so yeah teams I was close I failed that mission so you're getting a phone call I just answer them and then ignore them okay this is the cops shit there's only two levels of cops 
I already have the two flames on me. I'm at max level. And cops kind of suck in this. You can't, like, wreck them or crash them. And that's kind of the problem I had. With most wanted, you could go to, like, these little blue dots on the map and hit a boat over or whatever. And then crash the cop car. And it was epic as shit. This is not. I've already lost the cops. There you go. Try it again. Challenge other racers anytime. I don't know what the online has to do with anything. You can probably race other people from around the world. But I don't really care. I just want to fucking drive. I want good driving games. Okay, like driving is like the one thing that nobody has anymore. Everybody has their FPS or their fighter games. But the driving games are kind of dead. The crew is... What, from what I heard, mighty shit. I like the crew, and the Wild Run expansion comes out in like a week. And I'm excited to play it, because I just want to drive. But this, I had high hopes for. And it's kind of did let me down. It's not terrible, but I don't think there's a lot of content here. There's no season pass or nothing yet. It's EA, though, so... Just expect some stupid shit to happen. But sorry, I'm concentrating. Making sure I don't fuck up again. But, you know, sound is pretty good. Car games sound is pretty much everything. You want to make sure the engine purrs. And for the most part, different cows sound differently. Cows, cars. But I don't have a McLaren or a Lambo yet. So I've been driving the Beamer and the Ford Mustang. That's it. <laughs> Keeping it old school. There we have it. Much better than last time. See, and then it does this shit every time. Where, like, it's auto-driving, but I still have the cops on me. So now that I come back to reality, the cops are gone. See, he's calling me. I'm gonna answer it. Hey, this is Magnus. Yeah, I saw you guys doing some fast runs out Okay, there. Magnus, I'm gonna end the call. And then I automatically go to the map. And this is kind of what kills it for me. Teleport. I'm right there now. There's no driving to point A to point B anymore. You don't you're not forced to do it. You just teleport. And I find it that I don't even want to drive around. I'd rather just fucking teleport. Which takes the fun out of driving. So this might be a cutscene. It is. I can't skip it either. <clears throat> Because they're so brilliant. So this is a cutscene. Yeah, I saw you guys doing some fast runs out there. It was really impressive. If you guys can get close to my time zone, well, maybe we can get out there and drive together. Rock on. Cheers. Yeah, man. How do you get your handle? Don't look at me. You know what this means, bro? I guess you earned it. Not this again. You both earned it. No, Rob, you gotta hand it to me. The way our homie here smashed those rat runs, no wonder Magnus hit him up first. <laughs> the prize is in sight, man. You say the word and let's do this. Come on. Yeah, see, he's got a GoPro or something. Ever since GoPros come out, we're going back to, like, FMV type cutscenes. Even though it's not FMV, it's just fucking GoPro strapped to someone's face. And everybody's trying to get their five seconds of fame. But, like I said, it's a racing game. If you're looking for a story in a racing game, I don't know what you're doing in life. You need, you need to do something better with time. <laughs> okay, 
this. You have the police on me now for some stupid reason. But the police don't even do anything. Like, I can pull over and pay my fine. Why? When I can... I'm literally away already. Like, I'm, I got away. From a $55 fine. For racing 200 miles an hour. It, it makes... Zero sense. So, Outlaw... Is a question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Because I don't know who the fuck he is. Amy is like the mechanic. She like gives you parts. And she runs the garage and shit. It's very confusing. This game is just very confusing. And see I have the cops on me again. I didn't even do anything. Let's see what this outlaw shit is. Need to break 2,500. See, I crashed into him, and I can still pay the fine. Resisting arrest. And look at the cop can't even keep up with me, and I'm not even going fast. I'm stopping to keep up with him. See, I'm getting a call from Magnus. I hung up on him because see, he's already on my map. We'll see what this outlaw shit's all about. Pretty much just gonna break shit. I get 2,500 and then just drive away. And this game's powered by frost, frostbite, frost, frostwire. Something. The frost. The frost engine. The same shit as fucking Battlefield 4. So. I mean, it looks good. For the most part. And shout out to Hot Wheels. If you're a 90s kid, you know all about fucking Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels are the shit. See, but cops don't even like threatening they're not threatening I've destroyed half the town and I have one cop on me that I could lose in the drop of a hat I'm almost at 2500 the second I hit it I'm going there we go I'm going of course I crashed because I'm a dumb shit I could probably pull over and pay my fine right now. You know, and it tells you the cops are on you by showing lights in, like, your back. And once they, they don't see you anymore or something, they're, they're gone. But it, this shit is retarded. Like, cops are just weak in this game. Like, look at this shit. You know, but what's not for me crashing? Like a fucking BK Rondell. I'd be away already. And your car doesn't get damaged. Like, it gets damaged, but it doesn't stop working. Look at that. Damn near a, a million XP already. There we go. Mission successful. I got a new text from Joker's mouth. Let's see what this... I gotta beat the Speed King. Okay. Challenging. And Drift is fucking just... <laughs> even though Drift is sliding... Drift is just... You get, you get a car that's max Drift... You're pretty much sliding the whole time. It's like it's like driving on ice. If you were hyped about this game like I was, I mean I wasn't hyped. But I was like, "Oh shit, it might be good because I don't trust Need for Speed games." 
I'd wait. And I'm the type of person that's honest. I bought the deluxe edition, so. Even though I've said that already. So I have to beat Magnus. So now you get to see the... Kind of what I'm talking about. about that was a weird slowdown. Alright. See, that guy's completely gone. I don't even know where the fuck he went. Like, he's not even on my map. But see, watch. We're gonna do the slow, the catch-up mechanic. Yeah, I have not a single idea where the hell he went. how far he is ahead of me and then that shit happens garbajo and I got the time over or NOS re plan refills over time and there's no pause so I can't pause the game and go take a piss or fucking answer my door if my door was the knock someone was at my door there, it's always going. This isn't Dark Souls. It's fucking Need for Speed. And the only reason why you're online all the time is for pictures. In case you want to take a snapshot. You can't wait to upload it. Yeah, see, there's the racer. And then I crash again. I'm fucking horrible at this game. Fucking terrible. Let's see, there he is. Travis, come on, man. Then I just end the call. The dude's been gone the entire race. Could, did not see him once. And all of a sudden, I'm right behind him. And I'm trying to catch him. I'm not going to. But as you can see, that's the method of the game. That's pretty much how it goes. Drifting and cruise and all this other shit. It's all the same. But I'll probably make another video the farther I get into it. To showcase more things about it. More different cars and things of the nature. And I beat it. I don't know how the fuck I beat it. I lost. Okay, so God, this game. But, well, either way. I hope you enjoyed my video of me ranting and raving about it a little bit. Everybody, every video I've watched is everybody's like, Oh my god, this game is so great, blah blah blah. It's not that good. It's not nothing to fucking call home about. It's cool. It's, it's alright. But it's nothing special. It's nothing we haven't seen before. But as always, don't forget to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And you know, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope to see you next time for whatever the hell I film, whether it's this or another game. Uh, I'll see you next time. Alright. Bye-bye.